Hello, you guys, and thank you so much for joining us on this live for another episode of No More Kids in Scientology. So thank you so much for being here. Hello, KD. Hi, Mousy. Jen Cell, Cinderella, Cinderella, Mena, Marina, Marilyn, Madam H. Thank you guys so much for joining us. So, yes, you guys, don't be fooled by the rocks that I rock. I'm still, I'm still Jenny from the block. Used to have a little, but now I have a lot. And no matter where I go, I know where I came from. So Jenny from the block back in 1999, hanging out with P. Diddy, being investigated by the feds for trafficking of including but not limited to minors. And now in this episode that we're going to be reviewing from Breaking Points, we're going to be reacting to Diddy Investigation Expense as J-Lo Implicated. And then we're going to bring it all the way back to Scientology, you guys, as if it could even have a connection. I mean, I feel like our Red String project is about to literally go like this. Like, what in the literal hell, in what world are we speaking about a Scientology father that J-Lo has? And then P. Diddy trafficking minors. And then J-Lo's dad funding the trafficking of the minors as a patron of these hotels. So not a lot of things adding up. Hello, Liz Gale. Hello, Marina and every one of you guys. So let's really take a look and see what in the hell is going on with Jenny from the literal block. And I don't think we're being fooled at all, Jenny from the block. So let's see. This is another update on a story that we wanted to make sure that we included. Let's go put this please up on the screen. We brought everybody the news about how the feds had raided two of P. Diddy's residences, both in Los Angeles and in Miami, allegedly over a sex trafficking investigation. It appears now from the New York Post, who definitely would have the scoop on something like mm -hmm. this. They say the feds are set to widen the Diddy sex probe over claims that the rapper boasted about shooting people, bribing jurors and using J-Lo as a gun mule. It says, quote, 25 years ago, at 2.30 a.m. on a cold winter night, three NYPD detectives were called into Midtown North Precinct. Rap impresario Sean Combs, then known as Puff Daddy, with his girlfriend Jennifer Lopez, and his bodyguard, as well as another rapper, had been arrested following a shooting inside of a Times Square club that had wounded three bystanders. The cops then found J-Lo at that time, quote, cuffed in the cage. Combs was in the station house, and his plans for a spectacular celebration of the new millennium, man, this is really dated, <laughs> uh, for a few days later were temporarily on hold. It says, now the events of that night and the sensational trial which followed are back in the spotlight. Two law enforcement sources are telling the Post that the infamous shooting and the trial would be reinvestigated as part of the sweeping probe into Sean Combs and specifically around the gun mule accusations as well as an alleged cover-up and bribing jurors and eventually got him off of one of the gun charges that we had listed and discussed here previously. Part of the reason that they swarmed and went into both of his residences, it appears, is into the sex trafficking investigation for which they were appearing to look for evidence. Obviously, transporting a minor across state lines for the purposes of sex is a federal crime of which there is a very, very lengthy jail sentence. And that's What was that last part, you guys, about trafficking a minor across state lines? It's a very, very serious. So imagine that I was a minor trafficked across the Juarez-El Paso border shipped off from Texas across state lines, landing in Florida. And at the age of 16, 17, I get shipped off to so-called rehabilitate a self-admitted PD 
F file. I was made to sleep in the same room as a full blown self admitted PDF file. You guys, it's one thing for someone to be alleged that. Well, you know what? In Scientology, they knew if they were or not, because according to Elron Hubbard's horrific self incriminating technology, that everyone inside of those hotels is really boasting all manner of wins that they get for circumventing self-incriminating themselves. Imagine that the IRS gives tax write-offs to anyone that goes inside of that hotel and pays to self-incriminate and get it all floated So it's all very highly illegal. And yet, you know, P. Diddy and J. Lo, they were getting ready to party like it was 1999. 1999, they were getting ready to party. And, you know, this investigation has to be reopened because... Apparently, P. Diddy was also in the business of interfering with juries, bribing them. So, seriously, you guys, what in the literal hell? exactly what Mr. Cohn's is actually being accused of and was previously in some of these lawsuits. But it does appear, I mean, this is a serious, serious problem for him. This is up there with R. Kelly and others. I do know, Chris, there's been... This is up there with R. Kelly and others. What was R. Kelly having a problem with, you guys? Oh, yeah, R. Kelly. For racketeering. For racketeering. That's what it's called, you guys, racketeering. It's like all of these dominoes that are falling organically. Literally just like organic one. Another one falls, another one falls, and it's just like, shh. This is what you call organic. Because all HSI had to do was go, knock, knock, knock. Who's there? Oh, let me come. Let me grab the drives. Let me grab all the evidence. Because the evidence is inside of the mansions the hotels, the commercial buildings. The evidence is not not inside the mansions, the hotels, and the commercial buildings. So it's those three factors. And as much as we want to sit here and pretend it's going to be so complicated to open up a racketeering investigation into the hotel fraud that a convicted felon propped up for himself and the rest of all adult protégés that signed up to be members. I want to be a member. I want to get qualified. I really want to get inside of this hotel. Oh, let, yeah, make, let's make sure you really do qualify. Let's really make sure you qualify. So all of this trafficking, all of these similarities are similar or same class of literal thing. Whether you're calling it P. Diddy, whether you're calling it Epstein, whether you're calling it Weinstein, whether you're calling it Scientology, whether you're calling it Trouble Teen Industry, whether you're calling it Nickelodeon, whether you're calling it whatever stupidity you want to call it. And yet, what is the common thread? Billions? Blackmail. Child trafficking, corruption. 
been a lot of uh, conspiracy that this is like about covering up some of the people that he was involved with. And it, it will be interesting to see, are they going to tug on some of the threads here that include uh, J-Lo or many of the other rappers and other famous people who are in his orbit? Or are they going to do what they did with Epstein, which is focus on two charges from 20, 30 years ago or whatever mm -hmm. that don't implicate anybody? Mm -hmm. Throw Ghislaine in jail. Just be like, yeah, we're just going to forget that the entire... Yeah, just throw Ghislaine in jail and everything is wonderful and everything is great and everything is amazing. And where is that platitude about no one is above the law? When all we have is evidence to the contrary. Oh, yes, you guys, no one's above the law in this country. Y'all are paying a lot of taxes to make sure no one is above the law. We wouldn't want to have a country still running on the concept of slavery. We wouldn't want that in this country, the United States of America. Oh, no, we abolished slavery so many centuries ago, you guys. You know, center, you know, slavery was a really dark chapter in this country's history that is taking place as of the year 2024. Under all manner of monikers is the same pattern. Mansions, check mark. Luxury hotels, check mark. Freak offs. check mark. Freak offs with children underage, check mark. Video recorded. Check mark. Start putting the check marks in y'all's notes. Just let's simplify this. Simplify it so the people in the back playing dumb, you know, started getting that through their thick skulls. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's going to be a big question. And the main character turns up dead. Yeah. So. Um, the Epstein vibes here are <clears throat> yeah, off the chart. charts. Yeah, I agree. Because you have um, Diddy at the center of this entire ring of celebrities. I mean, he hosted these infamous white parties in the Hamptons. He Epstein vibes AF, you guys. You have Diddy here at the center with all of these celebrities around that cult leader. And then you have David Miscavige at the center with all of his minions all the hundreds of enablers that David Miscavige has for himself. Nothing that took place in our childhoods could have happened alone. Breaking news to you Scientology parents. Breaking news to y'all. Whether you were in or out or whatever in the hell you got in there, it doesn't matter. All the Scientology parents were donating children to the hotel operation. So given the fact that you were either a Scientology parent who donated underage kids to a hotel, given the fact that if you didn't even have any parents, any kids to donate, then you were there getting serviced by minors. So in what world does anyone think that the adults didn't know minors were stuck inside the hotel? He had not just his, you know, the it was not just the music industry, it was the fashion industry, this cultural figure with his hands in a lot of different pots. And so a lot of people... Hands in a lot of different pots, you guys. All manner of industries implicated in the Scientology thing itself. These are octopuses. They have tentacles. They use said tentacles to grab slaves, to grab children, to grab blackmail, to grab whatever it is that they need to prop up their fake image of success, their fake image of where they're amazing billionaires, you guys really look it up. To us, we really are the ones you really want to follow the example because look, the corporate media talks about us all the time. We're so famous. It's so amazing to be famous. Don't get fooled by the fame that J-Lo has. You guys don't get fooled by that. People catching strays right now with regards to the Diddy allegations. A lot of rumors flying about who knew what when because the allegations against Diddy, I mean, they last decades. They are extensive. 
there is a consistent pattern that they appear to reveal. Um, you know, there's a lot of just direct violence. Is she talking about Scientology or is she talking about Diddy or is she talking about Epstein, you guys? Because I'm just sort of a little confused right now. Everything she said just literally escaped my mind. So by all means, Chad, let me know. Is she talking about what is she talking about? Because she just pretty much mentioned everything that we've been discussing and seeing for ourselves. There's a lot of uh, psychological torture and manipulation and then there's the allegations of sexual assault and, uh, you know, across state lines, which leads it into sex trafficking. Did he, of course? <laughs> Again, she could be literally describing Scientology, P. Diddy, Epstein, like, pick, 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 A, B, or C. Just stick it in there. It denies all of this. But if you were besties with Diddy, didn't you probably know? A hundred percent. Some of these things that were going on. I love that question, you guys. If you were besties with Diddy, didn't you know what was going on? If you were besties with David Miscavige, Mike Rinder, wouldn't you know what was going on? If you were besties for decades, besties, 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 going to all your big galas, really? Let's fundraise a lot, you guys. Let's get you to pay $5 million. Because you really should give us five million dollars to what? To save a world? By enslaving kids? How was a world being saved by enslaving kids? Put it in the chat. How a world was being saved by systemically ensnaring kids to work inside the hotels. Were you potentially involved in some of these things that were going on? And so that's why there's so much uh, uh, sort of connective tissue between him and Epstein. Because See, there's so much connective tissue between you, Mike Rinder, and David Miscavige, and Marty Rathbun, and Debbie Cook, and Dave Pettit, and John Landine, and Edie Landine, and Angie Trent, and Supiche Gentry, and Angie Blankenship, and Kathy True. And Annalisa Scapini, and Alfonso Barcenas Jr., and Alfonso Barcenas Sr., and Paul Kellerhouse, and Yvonne Kellerhouse, and Sean Carino Smith, and, 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 and. And I know you guys haven't heard those names ever, but believe you me, those names mean a lot to Mike Rinder, to Debbie Cook. The crook, the child trafficking crook, Debbie Cook. Those names mean a lot to her as she cashes a check this month. Don't forget, Debbie Cook is added cashing checks nonstop to keep her big mouth shut. Because of these elite circles that they were uh, living in. Elite circles, you guys. What do you guys think Scientology is? Who does not understand that Scientology is nothing but a so-called elite circle of donors. What have they donated? Hundreds of thousands of dollars. What have they donated? Their own kids. Elite, what they call themselves. So we're very elite here. Very, very, very ethically elite. Potential dirt that they have on other people who inhabited those circles. And Potential dirt. We're talking video recordings. We're talking transcriptions of hours and hours and hours of detailed, fully incriminating admissions. We're talking the question, have you committed any felony for which you have not been arrested? On the question, have you committed any felony for which you have not been arrested? Are you suppressing anything? On the question, have you committed a felony for which you have not been arrested? Are you invalidating anything? On the question, have you committed a felony for which you have not been arrested? Is there anything you're being careful of? On the question, have you committed a felony for which you have not been arrested? Has anything been nearly found out? On the question, have you committed a felony for which you have not been arrested? Is there anything you have not is? 
On the question, have you committed a felony for which you have not been arrested? Has anything been abandoned? On the question, have you committed a felony for which you have not been arrested? Has anything been protested? On the question, have you committed a felony for which you have not been arrested? Has anything been misunderstood? Scientology audit. Scientology A to J checks. They wanted to know if you had committed a felony for which you had not been arrested before they gave you what? Access to be a member inside of the hotel. And so, yeah, are we going to learn how deep this went, how far it went beyond Diddy? Who was enabling? You don't can't do the things that he's accused of. You cannot do on your own without other people knowing and being involved. See you guys. Who was enabling? Who knew what, when, how? Where was it being transcribed? Where was it being kept? What type of hard drives are these people really collecting for themselves? How much criminal info are they sitting on? Sitting on. The admissions have already been made. They get made every week. The policies of Alvin Hubbard are inalterable. No one could alter a shred of a thing. So how more stupid can anyone be? So who was the Ghislaine Maxwell? Who were the other wealthy celebrities who kept their mouths shut because they knew what you had on them? Who was the Ghislaine Maxwell, Mike Rinder? Who was it? Who was it that had all the info on what everyone else has? So I'm very compromisable because y'all were doing it as full-grown adults. And imagine there is not a shred of cooperating witness at the FBI or at the HSI. No Scientology parent has turned themselves into a cooperating witness. No Scientology executive has turned themselves into cooperating witnesses. They're all standing on the sidelines, cheering for a day where, you know, we find out where, you know, Shelly is doing her nails, because that would be great to really understand where Shelly does her nails today. Those are the questions that make this story, you know, significant beyond this one man's apparent, you know, horrific depravity and, you know, cruelty, et cetera. That's what... Depravity and cruelty. Put that on your notes, you guys. Just mark out those two words. Two more words that you can find in all the examples that we're going through here. Literally. Depravity. Literally, depravity vibes is what all of these things have in common. Depravity over video recording it, over, you know, keeping it for safekeeping. Because you know what? Yes, that's what child trafficking rings used to operate. Blackmail, compromise, ask the KGB how they compromise their assets. Ask any intelligence idiot out there that does any sort of intelligence operation. If Compromat is not the 101 of kneecapping people, just ask around, ask that rhetorical AF question. What makes this incredibly significant? And it just, it really is wild to see the way that, especially in the entertainment industry, it seems like you come across these characters in every, every sphere because you have these power dynamics where so many people are desperate to get close to fame, close to money, get close to power, that they keep quiet, they enable the behavior, they watch the way they potentially participate in the behavior, and that he was able to keep this under wraps for decades is astonishing. And, you know, credit to Kathy, who was the first. For decades under wraps is astonishing. And yet, who else has kept it under wraps for decades? Oh, L. Ron Hubbard and his protégés. So give it up to them for keeping it under wraps for decades, right, you guys? Give it up for all of Elwin Hubbard's protégés that have kept all the depravities under literal wraps. What they do inside of those hotels, it's a very religious experience that everyone's having. Oh yeah, couldn't be more religious. What religion is happening when children's innocence is being sacrificed? Right about now, we would love to hear that pitched. 
in a way that makes a shred of sense. To file a lawsuit, right. that really was the watershed moment that lead, led to a lot of these revelations and very likely, you know, ultimately led to this criminal investigation. So again, he denies all the claims and the charges, the allegations, but we will see where this goes. Yeah, I mean, and this is exactly, you made a just good point here about you can't participate or pull something like this off without a ton of infrastructure that is underneath you. I mean, part of the thing that really came out about how is a ton of infrastructure that is underneath you is what it takes to pull this off, you guys. So put that on your notes. It took infrastructure, a ton of it. Imagine the type of infrastructure that, you know, Debbie Cook, Mike Rinder, Supiche Gentry, David Miscavige, Ellie Miscavige, Claire Headley, and every other last RTC rep, child trafficker, and CMO, Angie Blankenship agent had underneath them to carry out the privates, to have minions they would summon. And then all of a sudden, what were those minions doing? Oh, glad y'all asked. Glad that y'all are asking the right questions. Finally, we're getting the right questions. Well, you know, messenger TRs consisted of give a child, an underage child, an order, and that child has to bring you back a done. Not coming up with a done, whatever the order was that the depraved executive issue, the child was to come back with a done or the head would go on a pike. So these children were given a lot of power. Everywhere they walked, everyone had to pretend that they were Elrond Hubbard incarnate. Why were children being told to pretend that they were Elrond Hubbard incarnate? Make that make sense right now. Anybody, please try and type your answers to start making a shred of sense so disgusting about Harvey Weinstein. It's not just Harvey Weinstein. It was all of his assistants and all these other people, his brother. All and all these the people in Hollywood executives. who were like, yeah, we know. Right? Yeah. It's an open secret. It's like, what? Like, how, how is this allowed to, you know, just continue happening over and over again? It's like, we need to know the names of a lot of those individuals and particularly here. I mean, again, as I understand it, you're, uh, this is this story is popping off in pop culture in a way that I don't really think the mainstream media has grappled with just yet. Uh, oh, wow, you guys. The mainstream media, the ones that launder the image of including but not limited to, yes, you guessed it, Puff Daddy. Including but not limited to, yes, you guessed it, Tom Cruise, John Travolta. The mainstream media are the image launderers. They're the ones that are serving the platters full of shit to run this scheme of Fame and celebrity who wants to be the next influencer who really wants to have a lot of influence over people and grift the fuck out of them and ensnare the F out of them. You're seeing all these brands that are protected. J-Lo is a brand. J-Lo is a literal brand. So what did J-Lo have to do to build such brand? This was at the very beginnings of her come up. Drug mule is what in the hell they're claiming she was. Imagine that. Uh, the views, the level of interest is up there with Epstein, if not actually surpassing it, at least in some places. And if they participate in yet another cover up in just a matter of years, people are really, really going to take notice of something like that and really learn how this so-called justice system and mm. all of that really works uh, whenever rich, powerful people are implicated in major sex trafficking investigations. Mm. So there we go. Hey, guys, if you like. So shout out to these two guys from Breaking Points that... At least are asking some good, interesting questions, you guys. So let's really get to this next part of our live, which is now let's bring it all back to Jenny from the block. Jenny from the block. What is going on with Jenny from the block and her, you know, dad being a Scientologist inside Jennifer Lopez family ties to Scientology. Let's see what in the hell is going on here, you guys. 
Jennifer Lopez has long been best friends with Hollywood actor Leah Remini, a former devout Scientologist who cut ties with the religion in 2013. She's one of my best friends, and she's always there for me in every, you know, through everything I've been through in the past 10 years. So Lopez has always maintained. So 10 years. I wonder when the Puff Daddy incident took place from this other thing taking place. Her friendship with Remini, and she was invited to Scientologist Tom Cruise and Katie Holmes' Italian wedding in 2006. But Lopez has reportedly never had any interest in the religion herself. Look at that, you guys. Look at that. That's where... Apparently, the child trafficking doesn't take place. All it takes is a nice lobby from a hotel to look like this. And then all of a sudden, you know what? Oh, this could be very spiritual what's going to take place right here in this commercial building. Imagine you go up the stairs here and then you end up in one of those audit rooms that we told you all about where people are locked up and being video recorded and being asked the question, have you committed any felony for which you have not been arrested? And they're blabbing their mouth, incriminating themselves at will. Remember, they get told before they start the services, sign your rights away, sign all these paperwork that we really do have here for ourselves inside of this religion not hotel but you know in what type of religion do you have to sign lengthy lengthy forms to get started because that would be really great to fully understand so here's where jlo's dad is gonna go get serviced and where yes minors will be provided for jlo's dad including but not limited to which was founded on the contra right there course room you guys this is the the great course room where all the role plays are being done in front of everybody that course room would be full of adults and minors drilling things with little dolls literally kid you not all of it is groomed through a doll oh grab the doll in fact let's go And shout out to Laura FM who gave me this, you guys, which is actually perfect for our demonstration of today. When you really think about it. Yeah, they go, oh, pretend that this is a person that you're going to audit. Pretend that this doll, you're going to ask disgusting, unhinged questions. And then all of a sudden, everything's going to be great. So if you didn't think that all it took is a doll to groom these behaviors, think about it again think about it hard think about it clear and then go to the fbi and tell them how you were grooming kids using dolls controversial beliefs practiced by the late author l ron hubbard in 2007 lopez confirmed her actual religion and see you guys this is where i have a problem with these people like the late L. Ron Hubbard. This was a convicted felon on the run. Why does the corporate media YouTubers that are trying to make money on this, why do they always get a pass not doing the research, but yet monetizing, viewing and talking about things that, you know, they don't really do the research for because they should have done the research and found out that this man was on the run with minors locked up inside a ship, literal Shelly Miscavige, 12-year-old that she was, was floating around on a ship with this disgusting convicted felon on the literal run. So in what world is a convicted felon on the run that's child trafficking kids on a ship the definition of an American bred god? Can anyone really type that up really quick? Write a pitch on how that makes a shred of sense. In an interview with CBS News, although she also clarified that she has no problem with the Scientologists. She said, I'm not a Scientologist. I was raised Catholic. But it's funny the way people come at it. To me, it's so strange. The way they ask is such a, uh, are you a Scientologist? It's such a negative thing, and I just don't see it that way. 
So isn't that great, you guys? Breaking news. Jenny from the block doesn't see it as such a negative thing. So her dad donating money to a hotel where they traffic kids at an industrial size scale is just not something that she sees as a negative thing. She just does not see it that way. And you know what? Since you are besties with Leah, J-Lo, why don't you give her a quick call and ask her, yo, is it true what they're saying on the internet? What my daddy is into? Was he funding trafficking of minors at an industrial size scale, Leah? Can you confirm or deny that fact for me? Because I'm getting grilled on the internet with this statement that I put out saying that it's not such a negative thing and I just don't see it that way. So by all means, Jennifer Literal Lopez, tell us. Go get your publicist quickly and have her type a statement to retract what in the hell you're saying right here. Because this is giving, I'm endorsing what Scientology is all about, even though my dad does it. But what does that mean, you guys? It's all this wishy-washiness. Oh, well, if my dad wants to do it, well, if your dad wants to child traffic, then you know what? Tell him to stop child trafficking. That would be a great start for you to have a conversation with that father. Lopez was certainly raised Catholic, but little do her fans know that she has a very close family member with strong ties to the Church of Scientology. In the same 2007 interview with C. So this is the man, Jennifer Lopez, literal father, Scientologist, grabbing a child that he is, you know, in the back of his mind, considering is an adult. You see how that works, you guys? Oh, yeah, this is the child. Oh, no, but she's an adult. She's an adult. She's been born and alive so many times that her spirit is just, you know, catching up. And she's just an adult. And just come here in my arms and let me hold you and let me talk to you like you're an adult. Because, you know, I can tell you that, you know, I think in another lifetime, you and I were married. I think in another lifetime, that's what was going on. And that's what these people are telling you. That's what these people are telling you. So, in what world can an adult tell a child that in another lifetime they were married or they were doing something with them in a, you know, essay type of way? Where else can you find something like that? You guys, please, by all means, advice, because we are seeing a horrific statement put out by J-Lo about how she sees nothing wrong with this and, you know, he can go help himself. BS News, Jennifer Lopez admitted that her father, David Lopez, is a member of the Church of Scientology. But Leah Remini told People Magazine that, per Scientology etiquette, Lopez's father, quote, should be disconnecting from her because she and the pop star are still friends. Lopez associating with Remini is supposedly not ideal for the church because the latter actress is someone who has spoken out against the controversial religion. The policy of the church is you can't be connected to someone who has committed a suppressive act, which I have. Leah told People in 2017, Although I don't want that to happen to Jennifer or her family, it is the practice of Scientology. They do it to everybody else who is not a big name. However... Yeah, you guys, because celebrities get all manner of deals made for them. So, breaking news, yes. They're going to break the rules for J-Lo's dad because you know what? He is connected to J-Lo and we want to be perceived that J-Lo is putting out statements such as the one that you just saw here where she's mocking people having a problem with it and she doesn't see why it's such a big problem for people to have. So imagine that she puts out such outrageous statements. The church has insisted that disconnection is a personal choice and that no one is forced to cut ties with ex-members or their families and friends. As to why... I mean, imagine that this is their promo video and here, you guys see it for yourself. See it for yourself. What, what part of this is religious? What part of this is religious? Right now, literally tell me in the comments what part of to what looks pretty young kids, I would say, I would imagine. In what world is this a religious activity, IRS? I mean, 
Literally, this is what they put out. Imagine they feel comfortable showing you this. Imagine what they don't show you. If they're comfortable showing you kids doing the heavy lifting, which is what, the, what in the hell this is called. This is called do the heavy lifting, outsource it to underage kids because they are adults anyways. So our point just get made over and over and over again. You guys see it for yourselves. Lopez never joined the Church of Scientology herself, Remini told the Daily Beast that it's because the singer prefers to, quote, make her own decisions. So what does... Isn't that great, you guys, that adults can make their own decisions and nobody should give an F? The only problem with adults making their own decisions, including but not limited to seen here, Jennifer Lopez's dad, is that who is underneath that father? And what is that man really funding with his money. It's put your money where your mouth is. So it's not good enough that JLo doesn't give an F that her kids are not being trafficked. But you know what? If other kids are being trafficked, well, you know what? Better luck next lifetime for the other kids. Mine are fine. Mine are in my house. Mine are, you know, I don't really have much to do with my dad is what you're going to find out. So it's great that she has it great, but you know what? Plenty kids inside of those hotels where her dad is a paid member to are not having such a great time. Lopez's relationship with her father look like today? Well, it certainly appears as though her mother, Guadalupe Lopez, is still a fixture in her life. In the summer of 2021, she was photographed in Las Vegas with Jennifer's partner, Ben Affleck, but her father isn't as heavily involved. In fact, he told the Daily Mail shortly after Jennifer's breakup with Alex Rodriguez that he had no idea they were having problems to begin with. When asked about their split, See, he had no idea, so he's really not in her life. He told the publication, I didn't know. If I did, I would tell you no comment, but I had no idea. With that said, though, Jennifer told the Today Show in 2016. I mean, seriously, you guys, like, this makes me nauseous. This makes me want to literally vomit. Because you see how the industry makes a mockery of these people, these people that you think are so powerful and amazing. Imagine having been used as a gun mule. Imagine you are now implicated in that. Imagine P. Diddy was, you know, allegedly paying and bribing the jury. And yeah, right now, this is what Scientology would be having a child do, but with a toothbrush mind you, and with no gloves. So leave it up to literal Jennifer Lopez to role play in a scene where she wants to come off as real nice and real whatever on her knees scrubbing. Well, this is what children in Scientology do with a toothbrush. And you know what? It wasn't black and white checkered floors. We were literally sent to a dumpster with a toothbrush with maggots all around that her father was always incredibly supportive toward her and that he was even her number one fan. Oh, isn't that great that you had an incredibly supportive dad and not a deadbeat dad like everyone else, J-Lo. So it's amazing that you have the success story that none of us had. So breaking news, you guys, J-Lo had the most supportive, loving father. We didn't see examples of evidence of that inside of the hotels. I can tell you pretty much all Scientology fathers were quite dead beat. You know what? If you as a father don't even stand up for your own child, if you as a father don't even have the strength to set a single iota of guardrails, to protect other adults from having their way with your child, you guys tell me in the comments what type of father that is. Is that the most amazing, loving father you've never even heard of? She explained. He said to me one time, he goes, I just want you to know of all the people in the world, there's one person who just loves you and doesn't want anything from you. You have that in your life. Even though Jennifer Lopez's father and one of her closest Hollywood friends were members of the Church of and you guys keep seeing all this, you know, promotional video, everyone's smiling, everyone, you know, having such an amazing, great time at these hotels and commercial buildings. The adults that are inside there do not need to be saved. They love it. 
They don't want their membership canceled. They will be horrified once their memberships, paid memberships get canceled. They're going to be very, very, very pissed about that because they want to have a membership to exactly where you're seeing them go. They love it inside those hotels. They have a great, amazing time inside of the hotel. And no adult going inside the hotel needs saving. So repeat this for a 10th billion time. The adults do not need saving. They love it. They cannot get enough of it. They write successes. They consent. They sign the forms. They're all about it. Scientology at one time, it doesn't look like Lopez herself will be signing up anytime soon. In a 2019 interview with the Daily Beast, Leah Remini explained that one of the reasons why Catholic born Lopez didn't become a member herself is because she didn't agree with that disconnection policy for which the church is known. Remini explained, Yes, I did run interference, but she disagreed with the disconnection policy, so she wasn't going to submit to any pressures from anybody regarding. Yes, I did run interference. So you were sent there as a mole to convert her? I mean, what in the hell is this exact quote? Yes, I did run interference, but she disagreed with the disconnection policy. Well, I'm glad that this connection, disconnecting from her father, funding the child trafficking was where JLo went. You know what? That's a step too far. Trafficking kids at an industrial size scale, you know what? I don't think that's that bad. But you know, God forbid that my father who funds the trafficking is going to disconnect. And you know what? That's going to take it a step too far. And she wasn't going to submit to any pressures from anybody regardless. Despite you running interference, Leah, because you were trying to convince her to come and join you inside of the hotel. Got it. Regardless, and she was a really good friend to me through all that. Remini also told the publication that her friend was a very strong-minded female and is a seeker of spirituality. A seeker of spirituality, you guys. How much spirituality is found in being a gun mule for Diddy? And, you know, being part of a horrific incident that happened, I mean, the literal victims of this incident are still living with the aftermath of being shot in the literal face. Imagine that. Imagine that you were there, you know what happened, and you're just like, oh, I'm having a great life. It's amazing to be Janie from the block and don't be fooled by the rocks that I rock. In other words, the iconic singer didn't appear to want anyone's religious beliefs or opinions to affect her personal and professional relationships. When you consider the fact that joining would also have meant a huge lifestyle change for her, it starts to make sense why Lopez has always avoided the Church of Scientology. See you guys? j -Lo knew her lifestyle was going to change a lot. So what can you all put in your notes? Yes, adults can make lifestyle choices. And that includes being part of, you know, Jeffrey and Jelaine's inner workings. That includes being part of P. Diddy and his underling inner workings. All of that is included. All of that is part of the lifestyle choices adults make for their damn selves. They want to go be part of a criminal conspiracy, join the criminal conspiracy. And you know what? If the FBI never finds out about anything, then you know what? You're doing great. You're doing amazing and you're doing wonderful. If the FBI finds out about you, you're not going to be doing great. You're not going to be doing amazing and you're not going to be doing wonderful. Check out one of our newest videos. And... Again, you guys, in what world are we seeing how modern day slavery works? What's already in the law? What's already written in black and white to be prevented? But you got a lot of people thinking that as long as they send out talking heads such as Mike Rinder, to, you know, camouflage the waters and make it all look sanitizable, palatable, 
then that's all it would literally take. You could get away with everything P. Diddy got away with, everything Jelaine and Jeffrey got away with, everything Scientology got away with, everything Nickelodeon got away with, everything that the troubled teen industry got away with, a.k.a. billionaires. Billionaires where the law doesn't apply to you the same way. Apparently, there's a different set of laws for those that are billionaires. It's not called child trafficking. It's called Nickelodeon. It's not called child trafficking. It's called Trouble Teen Industry. It's not called child trafficking. It's called Scientology. It's not called child trafficking. It's called PDD. It's never called what it is. And it's always pitched that it's, you know, something happening in a roach-infested motel where, you know, there's some agents pretending to be the kids that really want to go and visit those predators. Imagine that's the only way you ever hear trafficking get pitched. Imagine all the kids implicated that need advocates and the pitch is always bullshit. I'm just astonished at how any of these people can live with themselves. I mean, Chiara is what, what's on the record? What's on the literal record? And we've been told, who should we be looking up to? Who's got it all together? Oh, yeah, J-Lo, J-Lo. My God, I wish I, could, I was like J-Lo. You guys, I mean, we do live in the city and there is a lot of corruption. And this whole Hollywood construct is rooted in corruption. It's all undue influence. It's all prop up all these people with all this BS, build a brand around them, and then grift, make profits, pretend that they really do have it together. And, you know, including but not limited to getting away with what JLo's implicated in right now. That is called, she didn't have a shred of integrity. How the hell did she build an entire career without a shred of integrity? For what happened that night? How the hell did she put out statements saying that she sees nothing wrong with Scientology? You know, it works for my dad. I guess, you know, if he's all about funding child trafficking at an industrial size scale, well, you know, he can do whatever he wants. He's an adult. I'm not going to tell him to stop. And that's all we ever get, you guys. As if this is this subject of adults putting themselves, implicating themselves in memberships, in clubs, in places where they went to get vetted, admitted, signed all consent forms to be part of these enterprises. What, you think all of the PDD people were not feeling so special to be working for? All the people that were working around Jelaine and Jeffrey, were they not all so special because they were working? I mean, exactly what Breaking Points said it requires enablers. It requires people that are incentivized to keep that culture alive. They are getting something in return. They're not doing it for free. They're doing it for motives, personal motives. Those motives could be as deranged and idiotic as, I'm next to P. Diddy. I must be very important to be doing all of this. I really want to get some of this undue influence so I really do become famous because being famous is my goal, is what America sells. America, become famous. Have it good like these people. And you know what, you guys? Don't. It's not what it's propped up to be, to be honest. Um, boop, 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 boop. Thank you so much for the super chats. Better together. 
is the COSD Illuminati. Um, I think it's the unilluminated. I think it's the, you know, the sheeple. It's the ones that follow each other without a shred of critical thinking skills for themselves. So I'm not sure what the Illuminati is, but, you know, those people inside the hotel are just sheeple. They have no critical thinking skills. Julie, thank you so much for your super chat and your support. I really appreciate it. Better together. I always wonder why Leah's best friend wasn't screaming from the rooftops about getting her out. Judas Lynn, if you know, you know, my best friend calls me just to make sure I'm being treated well, eating well and loved every single day. Well, good, better together. I think you have a much better friend than what these, you know, friendships in Hollywood are turning out to be to be honest. So shout out to you. Thank you so much for your support. I appreciate it. Um, Fancy Nancy, super sticker. Thank you so much, Fancy Nancy, for your super sticker. And let me see you guys. Never in, yep. Never wish to be famous. Just be a good person and the world would be a better place. Really quite simple. Thank you, Anne Casillas. Exactly. Exactly. It's in this town where all of this false positioning happens you guys and it becomes this like race for relevance hello nerd report thank you for joining us um all right you guys well there you go um we are learning that yes trafficking is trafficking is trafficking and there's a lot more things that are making sense. So I really appreciate all of you that are here um, listening to this message and becoming true advocates for kids. We need as many advocates for kids as we can because kids cannot consent. Kids cannot be subjected to these procedures inside of these hotels. Kids cannot be audited, kids cannot be given ethics handlings, and kids cannot be signed up for grooming courses. It's very simple what needs to be stopped inside of those hotels. And it doesn't need to be stopped in a million years. It would be great for it to all stop tomorrow. And the more of you that hear our message and understand and sit here in solidarity, is the quicker we will save them from going through what we're going through you know all of this work is preventative you guys well what's done it's already been done it's already over but you know what is the fact is that it's happening today thank you atkins in texas no more kids in scientology protect a child today and all of you showing up i know these uh lives are not jovial and fun or anything like that but it's like there's a real importance in really contextualizing all of what's being recorded on the public record right now and you know in the case of these cases of trafficking i mean again it's all the same crime what's being shown on the public record that is all coming undone and you know we really are sitting here, sitting, standing on our knees to pray for the day that kids stuck at the hotels right now are ones being rescued. And that this subject gets taken seriously, that people just connect the dot of just exactly what we showed you guys the other day with Aaron. Because I'm going to do a follow-up video after this live um, speaking about that specific auditing that we did show to you guys. Um, and that specific technique, that specific process was used on Miriam after she was essayed. Imagine that they pitched it as, oh, let's get your communication up. So now you start understanding why they were asking, have you... You know, if you could talk to a rapist, what would you talk about? If you could talk to a PDF file, what would you talk about? It's like to sit here and see how she was being literally 
manipulated and gaslit as a child to think that, you know, all it was going to take is a little bit of communication to talk about these things when she was very, very young, you guys. And that's what is at risk. Those are the kids that are at risk right now. Imagine that there's been not even a scintilla of guardrails that have been propped up since we left and it's the year 2024. No child is any safer than when we were inside of the hotel. So let that really sink in and appreciate all of you guys' support again, because um, the more people understand that, um, you know, this is, um, this is a plight that hopefully ends, you know, because there are laws. Lucky for us, we don't have to reinvent the wheel. The literal laws are already written. They just need to be enforced. So I thank you guys so much for tuning in and I will see you all extremely soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.